All right, all, like the title suggests. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and an overview of the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC Edition. Let me roll an intro and we'll get into what this card offers you and we'll do an unboxing of it. Alright all, like the title suggests and I said in the intro. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC Edition graphics card. We're going to be running down the specs over here on New Egg. We're going to be doing an unboxing and see what all comes with it. Let me get you flipped over here to the other screen and we'll run down through them specs for you. Alright guys, and here we are on New Egg. Right now at the time of the filming, this is 8-15 of 2020. This card is going for about $269.99. This card is basically aimed for 1080p gaming and some 1440p or a high refresh rate 1080p, depending on the titles that you play. We have the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC Edition. It does have 6 gigs of VRAM. It is PCI 4x0 compatible. It does have a 192-bit bus RAM on it. Alright guys, now we're going to get down here into the specs of it. The brand is, it is a Gigabyte brand. Here's the model number if you'd like to like know what model I'm talking about. The interface is a PCI Express 4.0 times 16 interface. Chip manufacturer is AMD. GPU series AMD Radeon RX 5600 series. GPU is a Radeon RX 5600 XT. The boost clock is 1620 MHz. Stream processor cores is 2304 stream processors in it. The memory on it the clock speed on the memory is 14,000 megahertz. It is uh, 6 gigs of uh, VRAM on it. It's a 192-bit bus. It is a DDR6 memory. Um, it is DirectX 12, of course, and OpenGL 4.6 for the APIs. The ports on it, it has one HDMI 2.0. It does support up to four monitors. It does have three DisplayPort 1.4s. This kind of surprised me down here underneath the details. It says max resolution is 7680 by 4320 at 60 megahertz, which in layman terms, that means it's an eight, it can do 8K. Uh, virtual reality ready? Yes. The cooler is the Windforce two times. Uh, system requirements, it recommends at least a 450 watt power supply. Uh, as far as connectivity, it does have a 1 8 pin connector that you have to connect up to get, get enough power to it to run it. There's some of the added features if you like to run down through them. I'm not going to run down through them all, but there it is. Form factor and dimensions of it, it is ATX cord. It is 228 millimeters long. The cord dimension is 8.98 inches by 4.6 4 inches. Um, what's contained in the package, which we'll go through, is this says accessories, and it's just a quick guide. The only thing that comes with it. This is one of the newest cords out. It is July the 27th of 2020 when this cord was released onto the market. All right, guys, that's pretty well what uh, New Egg has on this cord. Like I said, you know, this cord is going to be ideal for 1080p. Probably high refresh rates, depending on the games that you want to play. Even some 1440p. Um, as far as 4K gaming goes, I don't think this card is going to be very good for it. But it may be alright with some of the less demanding titles out there. Depends on what kind of games you like to play. But this is kind of just an overview and an unboxing of it. So uh, let me get into unboxing this thing and we'll see what all comes with this. Alright guys, now since we went down through the specs of this, now let's get this thing out of the box. By what I read on Newegg about it, it shouldn't come with a whole lot in the box. Um, pull the flap up on it here. There we go. Open it up. Got your styrofoam with your graphics cord in it, and uh, it comes in an anti-static bag. Move the foam insert, and we get a graphics cord quick user guide. Pretty simple. Pretty basic. Nothing else in the box. All right, we're going to take it out of the anti-static bag here. All right, there we go. There's the cord itself. 
got the two two fans on it. Um, by looking at it the way you normally look at the system, it would be like this. You got your Gigabyte logo. It don't look like there's any RGB or anything to this cord. But that's all right. Uh, the trowel seems to be a pretty sturdy little plastic trowel to it. Which should do fine for what it is. Uh, it looks like the heat sink's actually touching the VRMs underneath there. So that's good. It means your VRMs are being cooled along with your GPU of it. By looking at the back over here. Looks like you got your one HDMI port down at the bottom. These three top ones here is your display ports. It is a dual, dual cord. And it's going to take up two slots in the expansion slots. Look, EVGA, Gigabyte includes a backplate. It does have a Gigabyte logo on it, um, which is going to read the right way while you're looking down on the cord from inside the case. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it is a plastic plastic back, uh, back, back plate, but you know, at least they add one for you. There's your 8-pin connector there on the side. Um, looks like it's only got two heat pipes for the cooling in it. But with no more than what this cord, the heat that this cord should be producing, it should be all right with that. Then down here at the bottom, you do have your PCI Express 16 times 4 that hooks into your motherboard. And that's going to pretty well wrap it up. Um, there ain't really a whole lot to show off about it. Like I said, it does have a plastic shroud to the front of it. It does have a plastic back plate to it. But, you know, it's going to look better than just the naked... Uh, cord itself so yeah they put some I think they've put some thought into it I think it's a pretty nice looking cord you know it's got a little bit of black and got mainly black with a little bit of gray accents to it um the top's the same way it's black with a little bit of gray gigabyte writing on it pretty nice looking cord for what you get the main thing is going to be the performance of it but uh let me get reset up here and uh I'll come up with a conclusion to the video all right guys we went down through the specs of the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC cord. Went down through the specs, uh, pulled it out of the box, showed you what all comes with it. You know, it does have a plastic shroud to it. It does have a plastic back plate, but at least it's got a back plate. Unlike my 2070 Super I got from EVGA, which costs a lot more money, but it don't even have a back plate. It is pretty min minimal. You know, it's a black shroud with a back with a black back plate. A little bit of gray accents to it, but it's a pretty neutral color system, I think. There ain't no fancy RGBs or ARGBs with this thing. It's a pretty basic cord. But the main thing to me is performance. You know, this, the way they look kind of takes second, second base to me. Your opinion may vary. If you're looking for the RGB or the ARGB, you know, maybe this ain't the right cord. Maybe you want to spend a little bit more money just to get the ARGB of it. And I know there's some versions out there that's got some lighting to them. So, you know, it's an option for you as well. There ain't a whole lot to show off on this thing. Um, I still haven't done the build yet, so I don't have no performance numbers for you today. But that will be coming up on the channel. If you like this kind of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. There's a comment section below. I'll go through them every weekend on my live stream here on Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see the performance numbers of this graphics cord once I get that system built, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification. That way you can see how this thing actually performs in the system once they get it built and get a testing done on it. And if you're also on Twitter or Instagram, you like come over and follow me. There's links in the description for them too. I won't kill your inbox. I don't put a whole lot up yet. You know, I do put up photos of products I've got coming in. You know, it kind of gives you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. So there is that as well. And with all that being said, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream.